I try not to argue with other TV anchors, and I usually let conspiracy theorists go unanswered. The son of the president, Donnie Jr., tweeted out this picture of me in waist-high water, my camera crew a few feet away on higher ground in only a little bit of water. Donnie Jr. was claiming it showed me in Florence faking the depths of floodwaters in order to somehow harm his father. I've covered hurricanes for about 14 years, and it really does make me sad to think that anyone would believe that I would try to fake something or overly dramatize a disaster. This was taken 10 years ago during Hurricane Ike. On September 13, 2008, I did a two-hour broadcast from Bridge City, Texas by Highway 62. Fire personnel, uh, uh, fish and wildlife folks in boats and pickup trucks, monster trucks, taken people out of here, uh, injured people as well. We've seen just in the last couple of minutes, a couple of cars go by with people. Uh, we don't want to uh, put a camera in their face just out of respect for them. As for those who think I was kneeling or faking the water level or making it look worse than it was or standing in some sort of a hole, this is an area where people had been trapped on the roofs of their homes by water. The idea that I am kneeling in water to make it look deep is frankly idiotic. Here in Wilmington, New Hanover County, this has become a deadly hurricane now with two fatalities, a mom and her infant. Boy, I tell you, look at the wind just whipping the palm trees. The person you see there, uh, his name was Doug Thomas, the audio tech. He worked for CNN for 26 years. He covered a lot of storms and a lot of stories. He died a year ago this month, and we miss him every day.